There's a long history of rap rock collaborations, but as hip hop continues to eclipse rock as the most popular musical genre, there's one rock outfit today that stands out as a go-to source of inspiration and collaboration amongst rappers, like Kanye West and Travis Scott, as well as pop's biggest star, and that's Tame Impala. The Australian rock band is known for its modern take on trippy, melodic, and psychedelic rock. The group performs live with several members, but nearly all of the vocals and instruments on Tame Impala's albums are written, recorded, and produced by one person, Kevin Parker. It's when I feel like I have a use, you know, when I'm just kind of in my studio, in my own realm. Parker released Tame Impala's debut album, Inner Speaker, in 2010, garnering acclaim from rock fans and critics alike. And one of Tame's biggest and earliest supporters in hip hop was Tyler, the Creator, back in 2012. The same year Tame released their second album, Lonerism. Frank Ocean admitted that his Odd Future cohort told him about the Aussie. I love Tame Impala. Yeah, man. I love Tame Impala. Um, Tyler actually put me on Tame Impala. And, and he shouted them out on our show last night as well. Tyler also shouts out the band on the wolf cut Beamer, which also features Frank. Pop some Tame Impala, your man got a lame Impala, and I'm sharing slurpees, and you ain't even begin to swallow. And the respect is mutual. In 2013, Parker gave props to Odd Future, saying, I like how they're not afraid to say whatever they want. They're not feeling confined. It's refreshing. In 2014, Kendrick Lamar hopped on the instrumental of Tame's Feels Like We Only Go Backwards for the Divergent movie soundtrack. ASAP Rocky was also an early fan. In 2014, he released Unicorn. <laughs> But perhaps the biggest homage to Tame Impala came from the R&B world after their third studio album, Currents, dropped in 2015. Rihanna covered New Person's Same Old Mistakes on her 2016 album, Anti, with barely any changes to the original, except for a little shortening of the title. Feel like a brand new Rihanna learned about Parker from SZA during one of her recording sessions with the singer and Kendrick Lamar. Her manager just got in touch because she wanted to use it on her album. She wanted to do something with it. I didn't know what it was, but uh, yeah, it was pretty, pretty crazy. Naturally, Parker was more than happy to oblige Rihanna. To have it, to, uh, have it in that R&B realm, even sung by an R&B singer, it just felt like it got what it finally deserved, the song, you know, by Rihanna, no less. The next year, Kevin and his mentor Mark Ronson DJed Governor's Ball, where they played a little bit of their collaboration with SZA called Back Together. Unfortunately, we may never hear an official release. In 2018, Rocky sampled the band again on his track Sundress. I guess you fell into the wrong And Tame Impala even brought out Rocky at Coachella in 2019 to perform both Sundress and LSD live. Back in 2018, Kanye West released Ye and took a while to announce the final production credits. Parker initially thought he was on Ghost Town, but realized he was really a co-writer on Violent Crimes when he listened to the album himself. Don't you go up in a hurry, your mama be worried, oh, it was all part of the story. Even the scary night. In an interview, Parker said creative director and set designer Willie Perrone linked he and West when Kanye said he needed some psychedelic guitars for the album. That same year, Parker grabbed writing, production, and vocal credits along with Kanye West, Pharrell, and The Weeknd on Travis Scott's Skeletons from his Astroworld album. And he joined Travis and John Mayer on SNL. Elsewhere, Houston's Max O'Cream sampled Tame's Reality in Motion on his cut, Pop Another. In 2019, Parker has worked with Theophilus London in a group affectionately nicknamed Theo Impala on songs like Only You, a cover of Steve Manite's 1984 track. And 
Whiplash. Parker didn't always see himself fitting in with hip hop, but his collaborations and friendships have turned Tame Impala into a not so secret melodious weapon. He even admitted in an interview saying, quote, I never really looked at it as something I could do. Even on the things I've collaborated with, they've still got me star-crossed. In March and April, Tame dropped two new songs, Patience and Borderline, and the crew are embarking on a world tour this summer, meaning a new album and fresh collabs could be on the way. I'm Hillary with Genius News, bringing you the meaning, the knowledge, and the very tiny scarves behind the music. You ain't been doing the education. You don't realize I'm super strange.